Today on the Design and Technology Channel, I'll be CNC machining a speed vice handle that was sent in via a view request from Mick Valente off Instagram. Okay guys, I've got Fusion 360 open here and I've got the file that Mickey V sent me. And we can have a quick look how Mickey drew this today. And uh, if I go right click down the bottom of the timeline, go edit sketch, we can see uh, the way he's created it and where he, how he's got his measurements and all that sort of thing. Um, after I got the file, I had to put these little circles in the corners because when you're milling this out, it's impossible for a round end mill to get into a sharp corner. So by drilling these holes, that relieved that corner for me and allowed the end mill to travel and to, uh, you know, to get right in there. So how I did it was click on that top face and I drew one circle and then what I did was, uh, I, so I drew a center line out, obviously. Then I put a circle on the end of that and then dimensioned it. And then I did a, up here, a circular pattern around six times to get the, the other circles around there. Now by adjusting this here, I could um, you know, ensure the drill either cuts further back. Now I decided to cut the center of the drill here because when I put it right back here, it, it took way too much meat off here now by bringing this forward a little bit uh, you know I could steal a bit of that material back um, upon doing that guys all I did was extrude it if I right click I can show you here and selected those little points that I did and ex extrude cut them okay now upon machining uh, Mickey V's design uh, I wasn't happy with the way it sort of stopped abruptly here then went around again um, I wanted to edit his original design and uh, make this flow a bit neater and uh, how would you say, make this spline here a bit more tangential to that curve. So what I did with Mickey's design, I actually copied it and I'll just edit it here. And what I did guys, I actually deleted the hexes and I drew a center line. And with that center line, I turned it into a construction line up here. And then what I did, I deleted all this bottom piece here. That's after I amended this here, guys. So you can see here the spline. I, I kept his spline, but I just made it flow a bit neater, okay? Now, the reason I deleted the bottom half was I wanted a perfect symmetrical part. So by doing a construction line through here, I could use the sketch mirror feature, and I could mirror this top profile down here. Now, upon doing that, I just redrew the hexes at the points, and I did alter the length of... Uh, his design a little bit. I got it, um, how would you say, a bit more rounded figures, okay, without decimals in there. Um, I'll stop the sketch, and you can see now the only difference between his design and my design is that when I drew those hexes, um, Mickey's hexes run in line with the axes. I decided to run my um, hexes perpendicular to the axes. So you can see here, if I just flick back again, you can see his corners are there and my corners up the top. Now, to run this in CAM, guys, it was very, very easy. This is an easy part of CAM. And as always, with this, with this uh, video, guys, I'll put the design files down below for you, and you can download these designs yourself. Now, I'll provide in the description area of the video, I'll give you the three design files. So I'll give you Mickey's design, the 19mm and the 13mm design, and you can download those. And by all means, help yourself. Try and make one yourself at home. Uh, so what I'm saying about cam guys in here, this is a very easy part to cam. There are no open contours. It was super easy to do, okay? And if you've been watching my videos for a while now, I've stumbled across a recipe that works for me. And I, I pretty much follow this recipe every time when I'm uh, machining. So I'll always face the part. I'll do my spot drilling because I don't want the drill to walk. And then I'll do a peck drilling cycle to drill out all those. I've got a 2D adaptive to clean out the pockets, 2D contour to clean that up, uh, 2D adaptive in that hex, a 2D contour, bore the handle, uh, an outside contour, sorry, an outside adaptive and an outside contour and a 2D chamfer. Let's just take a, a brief look at that quickly. You can have a look. Spot drill, then the drilling, the peck drilling cycle. Uh, this is the adaptive clearing. I did uh, amend the speed at which that ramped down as well. 
Now the, the reason I'm doing uh, three step downs in that is because I don't have a full length flute, flute length here that would get right to the bottom. So by doing it in three stages, it, it helped me clean those walls up a lot better. And we can see here the boring cycle to get that out. And here we go, the outside adaptive, and I'll just speed that up for you. And there's the full, uh, two, the 2D contour on the outside was uh, two bytes as well. And I like to chase it up because uh, I get a better finish by chasing it around there and get rid of that tool deflection. And obviously the, the 2D contour at the end. Alrighty, so, um, uh, all right, well, let's, uh, how about we jump over to the mill and let's, uh, let's make this thing, eh?
Well that completes part one of our CNC machine speed vice handle. The entire part was CAD modelled and cam tool path at Autodesk Fusion 360 and CNC machine on my little vertical machining centre. Total machining time for this part was approximately 20 minutes, but that time could be considerably reduced had I used a 12mm end mill and been a tad more aggressive with my feeds and speeds. Overall I was very satisfied with operation one and I hope to see you back next week when I machine the soft jaws, fixture the part and complete op two. Thanks for watching and I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe, like and share my video. Catch you later. Cheers.